Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So today we are going to concentrate uh, in our next topic which is uh, the part 1 of ADC and today we are going to focus on the introduction of ADC. So what is ADC? So ADC or we call it as analog digital converter. So the function of the analog digital converter is usually to convert a continuous analog signal usually a voltage into an equivalent digital value that represents the amplitude or discrete ve output value so in this case you have an analog signal which is in a continuous time and continuous amplitude so in a continuous time here and with a continuous amplitude so this is the amplitude okay this is the amplitude okay so you by using the ADC, which the ADC is consisted of sampling and digitizing operation, or the main circuit in the ADC, we call it as sample and whole circuit. Okay, by using the ADC component in your microcontroller, it will convert uh, the analog signal towards the digital signal. So this digital signal is a discrete time and discrete amplitude. Why discrete time? Because the sample of the data from the analog signal is only sample at certain time. Okay, you have a certain time of sampling here. And then you have a amplitude here, okay, which is following uh, the original amplitude of the analog signal. Okay, so these are the amplitudes. So we uh, look into the basic theory of the ADC. So in this case, we have an analog signal here. So this is your analog signal. And then by using a sample and whole circuit, you are going to convert this analog signal into the digital signal. Okay. So this sample and whole circuit is actually um, uh, it's actually uh, in, in, in the form of pulses. Okay, you have uh, pulses which is uh, running in a sampling frequency at the point uh, running at a certain frequency. Okay, and then these pulses has a, a short duration interval between two pulses. Okay. So, how does the sample and whole circuit do the work? So first thing first, it needs to sample the analog signal. So this is the analog signal. And then by using the sample circuit, it will sample the analog signal. Okay. And then it will sample the current amplitude at that specific time. Okay. So we have few specific time here, which was determined uh, by the frequency uh, of that sampling circuit. Okay. And then each pulse has the short interval time between the pulses and then it will uh, tag uh, the value of that current amplitude at that certain time and then after it has sampled uh, the amplitude of that analog signal it will hold the sample analog signal okay how does it hold it will hold the level of that uh, signal at that certain time Okay, so it will hold that state before uh, it find another pulse here. Okay, or it will hold the state of that amplitude until the next sampling pulse. So when uh, the whole circuit has done uh, their work or operation, so you will have the output of the digital signal here okay so this is the output of the digital signal based on the sampling and whole circuit the sampling will only sample that amplitude at that certain time while the whole circuit will hold the state of that amplitude until the next sampling pulse and with this combination we will get the digital signal Okay, now we move to the next slide. However, the analog signal can be sampled at different speed. 
Okay, at higher sampling rate, more samples are captured per second. Per second. For example, this is the analog signal, which is in the continuous time and a continuous amplitude. By using a higher sampling rate or higher frequency, okay, you will have more data has been sampled from the analog signal. Okay, more data has been sampled. And then the output of the digital signal is following almost the same exact uh, shape of the analog signal. Okay, you can see the output of the digital signal is actually following the shape of the analog signal because the sampling rate is higher. Okay, you have many pulses within one uh, frequency. Okay, the ADC can only read one sample at one time. Okay, for example, at this particular time, it can only capture the value of the amplitude at this level of this signal, for example. Okay, and then it will wait for the next sampling time. And then when the second sampling time occurs, it will only capture the amplitude at that particular time, which is here. And so on until all the signals has been fully converted. Okay, until there is no more an analog signal coming into the system. Okay. Then each sample is measured with respect to the maximum possible digital value. For example, if let's say uh, this is your maximum reach of the sampling uh, ADC, or, or this is the uh, reference of the ADC voltage, okay? So if let's say you have a signal exceed the maximum reach of the ADC voltage, it will only capture until here. So this one, it will be not be uh, taken into consideration. Okay, that is the meaning of the maximum reach of possible digital value that can be um, sampled by this ADC. Okay, so each discrete value may be digitized into many steps. For 8-bit ADC, it is digitized into 256 steps. Okay, if let's say uh, you are using an 8-bit ADC, you will have here a 2 to the power of steps. Okay, so meaning that from 0 to 5 volt, you can divide uh, the digital data into 256 digital uh, bit. Or, if you are using a 10 bit of ADC, this data will be digitized into 1024 steps, okay, because 2 to the power of 10 is equivalent to 1024, right? So the steps is actually the resolution of the smallest voltage that can, uh, that can have by one bit of this ADC. Okay. Okay, now, by measuring the instantaneous analog value, you could calculate the equivalent digital output value with certain level of accuracy. And then in this example, you are going to convert that voltage value that has been sampled by the ADC into the digital value, okay, or equivalent digital output, okay. So remember that in 8-bit ADC, we have 256 steps, but since 0 volt, okay, since 0 volt is equivalent to 0, it means it is the first step 
of this 8-bit ADC and therefore the maximum step which is 5 volt is equivalent to 255. Okay, because 0 is counted as 1 and 255 is the steps of 256. So and therefore from this question we need to find the equivalent digital value. So we are going to use this formula okay, to obtain the digital value you need to have an analog voltage divided by the, by the input voltage or the ADC reference voltage and then you times with 255 okay, because 255 is the maximum uh, value of the steps for 8-bit ADC and then this 255 is actually has uh, calculated uh, by 2 to the power of n minus with 1 okay so you can use the formula uh, to determine uh, the maximum value of that ADC resolution uh, bit resolution so 3.8 volt you divide by, by 5 and you times to 155 and you will have 194 so this is uh, the decimal value okay so this is the decimal value that you must write in your code or you can use a binary value or you can use a hex value you can convert this value into hex okay as long as it can be uh, uh, read by your microcontroller so you're going to use this formula uh, to determine the equivalent digital value from that certain analog value okay so what if you're using a 10-bit uh, ADC uh, what is the value of that uh, equivalent digital output when you are using a 10-bit ADC so still using uh, the same equation or the same formula but we are going to use a different steps okay because this is a 10-bit steps of uh, ADC or 10-bit ADC okay and please remember this is actually determined by this formula okay since 10 is the n number here so 2 to the power of 10 is 1024 minus with 1 you will get 1023 so through this formula okay the output is 777 which is in decimal value and then you can convert it into 10 bit of binary value okay you can uh, you can count here it has 10 bit of binary value okay so uh, that's all for the uh, introduction of the ADC or analog digital converter so this is the basic theory uh, for you to understand the process the underlying process behind the uh, edit analog digital converter uh, in the in any microcontroller okay so uh, the equivalent digital output is actually depending on the number of bit of that ADC okay so uh, in our next class uh, we are going to see a few examples through programming and 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 from there you are going to have a better understanding on the ADC process so I'll see you again in your next class thank you